What's that? Right, it's his dimple. Which means he has some ability, no? The fact that he can see him at all. The rumors going around about Mob, who had bested Hanazawa, shadow leader of Black Vinegar Middle School, <laughs> started to take on a life of their own. His legend is growing. White tea poison. White tea poison? I'll be the one to defeat him. <laughs> I'm gonna this turned into like middle school Street Fighter all of a sudden. It's quite a cast of middle school characters we have going here. The fierce battle to see who would take down White Tea Poison was about to begin. They even have like districts and zones. They have like distinct territory. <laughs> this is just Japan. Japan is just roving gangs of middle school students, mostly female. They will wreck your life in alleyways. Episode 7, Exaltation. I've obtained loss. <laughs> I understand. I also frequently obtain loss. Huh? Wanna shake hands? I have to exercise it! Wait, <laughs> How do you perform exorcisms? You've only recently awakened your psychic powers, right? <laughs> what? Has he? Has he really awakened his psychic that powers? You see me is proof of your newfound ability. That's what I thought, yeah. But why? All of a sudden. Go ahead. You should be able to do that now, just like your brother. I feel like there's a good chance this ends up being a misunderstanding. What's with him? Does he have a complex or something? Well, that's understandable. You could say that. Given who his brother is and all. There's a lot going on under the surface. I can't do it! Maybe anger is the trigger? It's not bending! Hey, relax, kid. Is it really him, though? This is the second time it sort of happened, like, away from him. But also the second time it happened after him getting angry. Surpass my brother? Oh, the darkness inside. Is that even possible? It's tearing me apart. I can be more powerful uh, than Shige. Ah, uh, I understand it. Sure you can, if you let me use your body. No! Ritsu! Man, do I get it. I can't even pretend that I'm better than this. Like, I know the feeling of wanting that desire and everything is screaming at you that it's the wrong choice, but man, would it be sweet to have this thing that you want more than anything. Being this fixated on something, it becomes an issue because everything around it, everything else, it just fades into the background. It's like this all-consuming drive to get this thing that you want. And in that moment, you're aware of the darkness in your soul and the fact that you would throw away anything for just a taste of what that would be like. Selling your soul, or in this case, your body, it's a real thing it's like a possession almost it's like not even you in the way you associate with yourself and i don't even know a really good way out of that except for like just bearing it fighting it and supplementing your strength by leaning into the things that are actually good and wholesome and solid and good for you i feel like Rito could go a really long way by opening up to mob as difficult as that, as that would be because the sad truth in these moments is that despite how it feels the thing you're so fixated on and the thing you want that desperately is not really the thing you're looking for it's the only way you can see to patch this one glaring hole black hole in your life that's like sucking everything else away and the obtaining of that thing would feel really good for a very short time until you realize that the hole is still there and in the meantime you've made all these other holes in the obtaining of this one thing it's tricky because opening up to mob would be leaning into the very thing that he's most afraid of which is not being able to live up or not being powerful or being weak maybe not being able to give back to his brother who he sees as like having saved him so it's counterintuitive in that way but he needs to lean into things that actually make him strong and what would make him strong is not indulging it's just that he's forged this emotional link between his pain and this desire for this thing this object of fixation which is power uh, ritsu's not eating with us i guess he's not hungry i wonder what could be wrong with him is he upset about something no for all his psychic powers mom is not having a great time reading his brother's state now how about you close your eyes and relax your entire body <laughs> prepare for possession you fool now you to announce it Well, that was easy, but on the bright side, you got McDonald's makeup, so that's a win. They're the heroes of the school. Makes me sad how much this guy resembles me. <laughs> Your coat, it isn't buttoned. So what? Buzz off. Prepare for death. Did you do something bad? A rumor's going around that you're stealing the girl's gym clothes. Huh? The hell are you talking about? Oh no, more framing. They're I addicted. The girl's gym clothes tucked away and hidden in your bag. He's just a lackey, which makes it even worse. He doesn't even have authority in his scheming. You see, the school's been very strict with deviants lately. We're gonna break your perfect attendance record, and then you'll be really sorry. Sound good? Now button up. Using these and other similar methods, the whole Man, middle school, school in Japan is serious up, business. Turning it into the optimal environment for academics. Yay. <laughs> How exciting. A deep scar would be forever engraved on their lives. And the two student council members saddled with this task had to live with that burden. One so of them seems more burdened than the other. Power, yeah, <laughs> look at all this burdening. 
corruption and guilt. Ooh, he's leaning into his dark side. Become fuel for my powers. Yeah, that's real too. It's the dark side of the force. It's re it is really powerful. That's incredible, Kageyama. Want me to keep going? My secret is McDonald's makeup. What in the hell's gotten into him? This doesn't end well. Tell me, are you the one who framed us? I have no idea what you're talking about, Dimple. Leave it to me. Even if I did do such a thing. He's he's gotten what he wanted. Now it's too late. He's gotten what he wanted. It's gonna feel amazing. He's no longer this helpless victim. <laughs> a fight. <laughs> Scary. But isn't that guy's hair like totally amazing? Check it out. You're right. Whoa. Oh, is this yeah. What's up? Interesting. Look at the world we're building in this show. I think you've so far in early episodes. Overcompensating much. It's hard looking at someone who reminds me of the way I used to be. <laughs> He's like radically transformed his own mind. Don't try to live relying on psychic power. But see, he wears the burden of his defeat on his head. Ritsu, you idiot! Don't do it! He's super fast. You're so young. <laughs> Gotta keep it on. Gotta keep keep it all together. Keep the hair on. Can't let anyone see your your shame. How could I lose to someone other than my brother, Dimple? I want to get even stronger. So I won't lose to anyone ever again. This is the value track that you're on. This kind of power is obviously fictional, but I feel like there are a lot of real parallels in life for this. To try to put this in more understandable terms, let's take something like love and sexual desire and how it connects to money. So for example, love, sexual desire, money, those are all perfectly fine things. There's nothing wrong with the pursuit of any of them. In fact, in the romance and sexual side, I'd say like partnership with someone is one of the best things people can experience. And it's like part of our identity and part of just how we function. Those are great pursuits and can be explored really well. Just like Mob's brother can explore personal power power and personal identity in a really wholesome way. A problem arises when there's no optimal path there, for example, no optimal pathway to real love, or no obvious way that Ritsu feels he can develop his own personal sense of strength, and that's a crippling issue. Like, any one of the sort of pillars of identity, if neglected or if unmet, shakes up the entire self, even the strongest of people. Like, the strongest person in any in any number of areas can be completely derailed by a major weakness in one, and that state of desperation is a really dangerous state because it becomes a fixation and you will be inclined to grab onto any means towards that that you can. When it comes to dating, one sort of gateway there is money. Fame and power also occupy that same slot. And it can become obvious that through money, you can obtain a surface level of those things. And you can pursue that successfully for a while. The issue is once you start going down that road, like once the relationship is contextualized around money, you will actually not ever be secured in what you actually want, which is love and companionship, because it's always an assessment of opportunity cost. And so what you're essentially doing in that situation is you're basically sacrificing other areas of your life to focus on earning money and then like throwing money into this hole thinking that you're going to get something out of it, but it's not coming because it was never really the thing in the first place. And terrifyingly, speaking to what he just said about, I need more power, there's always going to be people with more money. So if the thing is based on that, you're always in a state of vulnerability. Nothing of actual value has been built. And that's maybe okay for some people. You know, maybe that's a decent road. I'm not judging it. It isn't a good road when there's a delusion involved or when the actual issue isn't being targeted. The path to real love is more organic, even if at times it's more difficult even than the pursuit of money. The path to Ritsu's power and independence is organic. And it's not going to come from like escalating his powers. He's going to get crushed at this task. And not only is he going to get crushed, but he's going to upset his whole life in the process and be left with less than he had before. Even saying that, I understand the appeal. I understand the pull of being so existentially frustrated by not being able to get what you want, you know, get what your soul is craving for. This is a major crisis. Little boy, do you have a moment? Everyone wants a piece of mob. Yes! This Unbeaten. Undefeated. Oh, the vase of happiness. Where can I buy one? 2.5 million yen, but I'll make you a deal. 800,000 yen just for you. I don't have that kind of money. Why did she pick up mob of all people? Running low on funds? Just call your mommy and ask her. This is a very interesting sales tactic. Here. Uh, I can't really tell. Uh. I see. That was close. Oh. Oh. Hey, you broke it. Whoa. Come on, Mob. Use your psychic abilities and or just basic common sense abilities. <laughs> He's so trusting. Oh, what a run of bad luck. This guy just happened to be lurking in that doorway conveniently for this vase to be broken. Now, what are you doing, Mob? Why'd you make me come down here anyway? You know I'm taking a I feel like you picked the wrong guy. You picked the wrong guy bringing Reagan down here. He's questionable in some of his practices. He's going to be there for Mob. I feel it. He's going to sniff right through this. Just like real recognizes real. Con men recognize con men. <laughs> Would you happen to be this boy's guardian, sir? Oh, I get it. 
<laughs> that was fast. Maybe I'll teach you a lesson. Ow, ow, ow. Throw some salt at him. Oh, scam with scam. The ultimate game. Speaking of rock, scissors, or paper. Hospital scam beats base scam. So that's gonna be another million. He knows his stuff. I'm no stranger to the kind of business you guys are running. Come on, Mom. Clearly. This boy's misfortune was decided the moment he broke the vase of happiness. I'd hate for anything bad to happen to him. Misfortune? Yeah, this you're speaking to a guy who, like, literally controls the supernatural. I don't think that's gonna sell. The spirit might have transferred to you guys by now. Be careful when you go to bed tonight. Huh? A haunting? Doesn't feel too great. At this point, even if they don't exactly believe this you counter, Reagan is just too crazy to mess with. Mob doing this? <laughs> Make a good team. That last bit was great, Mob. Yeah. Hey, you shook the building to scare them. Or or what? No, what? Uh, uh, huh? I thought all that was you sending the evil spirit after those two. Oh, there was something else in the room. Con artists are terrible people. The worst of the worst. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Only right. the lowest of the low try to take advantage of someone's weakness and exploit it for their own gain. And transition to Ritsu. And I bag dude. And all I was doing was chewing some gum during class. Kamara, a resistance is forming. To you. Life in Japan, everyone. Middle school life in Japan. If you knew, why did you decide to help me? Because I was tired. Yeah. Just tired of being myself. When you're at the bottom, I mean, you just take the nearest lifeline. In the end, it made us both popular. You and I have become the heroes of this entire school. Yeah, great. We can study. Yay. I, on the other hand, have obtained a much bigger world. I will say though, one contrarian take I have on this is that I was talking about sort of pursuing kind of supplementary or superficial ways to get things of actual value. I think there actually can be utility to that. It's just that you walk a fine line. Like for Ritsu, if he can stop now, it might actually do really great things for him, just having felt what it feels like to feel empowered. With a lot of these sort of existential dread type things, you can be glaringly aware of its absence, but sometimes just having obtained something once or having a taste of something that matches your expectations of where you should be in that thing, it's enough to sort of like satiate it long enough to act as if. And a lot of times if you are able to act convincingly as if, the things actually do come your way. Again, going to dating, a lot of times what holds people back in interactions is that they ruminate on their own failure and it gets in their own way. So like having no success with people you're attracted to creates a story that you're someone that is not appealing. And so that affects your behavior in ways that are not appealing. Having a couple interactions that go well or having a girlfriend or a boyfriend or whatever can be useful in closing that loop or at least like making that loop more shallow, if that makes sense, so that it's not as deep of an issue and it doesn't pervade your behavior as much. And from there, from like one l sort of healthier level of standing, having gotten out of your own way, you can be successful enough in the thing that you're trying to do. It would all be about how Ritsu internalizes this. Would he internalize this as him having done it? Like him actually having accomplished something? Or would he internalize it as, well, it's just this slime ball that possessed me? Would people start reacting to him in ways he wanted to be reacted to? That might be enough to get him out of that desperation so he could reflect and be like, oh, actually my brother is more important. Like being decent is more important. Musashi, that's enough. No, it's not. No, man up. Go to class, Onigawara! <laughs> oh, damn. I've got no place there. I broke my I mean, perfect attendance streak. Will even talk to me and also that. I love how the Body Improvement Club president is, like, taking time out of his busy body schedule to help this dude. What are you doing on campus, Onigawara? He's really got a grudge. Onigawara didn't do what you think he did. Should I have you all going out on a limb? His accomplices? Cause don't forget, I have bro. the power to do so. What? I feel like you cross a line going after the Body Improvement Club. They're just too good. They're untouchable. So who are you guys? Being paced, middle school gang leader has a ring to it. It's time to stop this. Man, you look awful. Tables have turned. Who's in control now? He got what was coming to him. He's like really leaning to this power thing. Disgusting. For someone who wanted to get rid of the garbage, you should have started with your own room. <laughs> yeah, what is with the garbage? Collection. No way! I'm done with all that! Get out of here! It's too late. <laughs> Throws a bag of trash. It's not very effective. <gasps> what are you talking about, Ritsu? We're partners! I'm on your side! I don't know, something suspicious about wanting to control your body. Soy sauce and... Hold on, it's going too fast. They're teaming up. Noodle soup base. That's a mouthful. And soy sauce. Which middle school gang are you joining? Leave it in the comments. I believe he's the one you were looking for. I'll apprehend him and head back. Not before that. There he is, I Disco Face. And see how good he is. Dead. Not running like that, Edison. <laughs> now, Kith. This kind of freedom is strong, boundless. I'm much freer than all of you. Why, you ask? 
I'll tell you, because I've lost tell my us. limits. Ritsu. I've obtained loss. I've obtained loss. He's obtained the loss of the things holding him back, I guess, losing his limits. But speaking of characters seeking freedom and missing the point, he's a slave to his own insecurities. It's an addiction almost. That thirst will never be fully satiated this way, but it will be satiated to a point, and at that point he will look around, and if it's gone on long enough, there won't be a lot left to look at. Thinking about it, one of the things that probably makes this so deep is not just the feeling of being jealous of Mob and his power, but the guilt that that brings. And I feel like because he can't address that in a meaningful way, actually that's going to push it farther. Like, if he feels guilty about it, that's more push in the only direction he sees to get out of this terrible cycle. Which, of course, deepens it. It's you. Ooh. What are you doing, Ritsu? This came to a head. McDonald's makeup wearing head. Does this mean an upcoming confrontation between the two of them? I mean, obviously, this is gonna end in mob winning. It's really tough, because I feel like one of the things that would go a long way in this is, like, the two brothers sort of having this discussion, as cliche as that sounds. But mob is not really the type. He's not the most forthcoming with his emotions, and Ritsu's too proud and has too much of a complex about it. If Ritsu were to feel like he actually was contributing to mob and was providing value and was at mob's side, he would be okay being inferior in terms of power. I mean, in fact, he might be okay at not having power at all. There's an unmet need there and he's chosen his path towards trying to fill that need, but just because he's blind to the fact that there are other ways doesn't mean there aren't other ways. There are obviously other ways that he can feel the way he needs to feel, but I guess it starts with sort of acknowledgement of it and then sort of letting go and trying to build other things that make him feel good in the way he wants to feel good. That's the path out of the desperation, I think. Yeah.